Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. You may be wondering why we're in Goron City. Quite simply, we're here for their uh, Feast of the Sirloin Rock. You heard me. <laughs> you now the Gorons are back about and cool. Yay. That's spiffy. That's the next one. Yeah, where I'm going specifically is... I think it's on this floor. Yeah, it's this floor. Pretty but sure it's this room. It's that room. I'm gonna put my sword away so I don't appear unprofessional. There's a guy in here. It's the mid Goron. I just completed a small weapon. 200? That's astronomical, but we're not using our money for anything else. We got a giant knife. Yeah! This is a two-handed sword. Look at the size of that thing. So you can't have your shield out, but it actually does double the damage of the Master Sword. It's weird how it does that. Yeah. Yeah, take that. It also breaks. <laughs> hey, guy, I want my money back. Your thing broke on me. I like how the icon actually changes, too, for it. No! I want a stronger version that's not gonna break after five tries. I'm gonna go what? stab a guy. That is still the most powerful thing, even though its range is, <laughs> is terrible now. Ah! Well, now we need the durable version of it. Alright, well, in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look at our inventory, because we got a chicken on us. And I should probably do something about this chicken. We never woke up too long. Yeah, we should probably go do that. Is it Talon? Or is it Talon? I always said Talon. Hmm. I mean, it's spelled Talon, but I think since it's Lon, because of Lon Lon Ranch. Eh, I don't know. But he lives in here, sort of. Well, he snores in here. Yeah. Get out of the way, dude. Get out of the way, weird bearded person. Hi. I don't think you need to jump at him. Yo, dude, wake up. She's doing fine. What in tarnation? Gets well, up. you've been sleeping for like four days. Gets up, pulls out a two, uh, six shooter. Oh, well, he says he's going back, but he then he just stands there. Well, once you leave and come back, he'll be gone. Ninja! <gasps> he's, the, he's been the time ninja all along. Man, Mario's faster than Link. Well, we also need it to be daytime. That's the wrong song. Now it's raining. Good job. And now it's raining. Now you've drained okay, the... Okay, I forget what it actually is. Now you've drained the right? lake. Yes. The one called the Sun Song. Could it possibly be the one called the Sun Song? Maybe. See, it's the same song, they just use an A instead of the L. So I get the two of them mixed up all the time. Well, we gotta go give the, uh, Kugo Yeah, gotta go back. give the... The pocket Kugo. Hi, lady. I did! It's very happy now. Let me take out my Kugo from my pants and show you. Wait. Let me <laughs> think that one through a bit. Kojiro. Hmm... Now we get a blue Koku called Kojiro. So we have to find someone who knows this bird personally, which is likely going to be her brother. We don't know who her brother is. However, there is one very mysterious person that we've not seen. If you recall, as a child, at night, there was a guy sitting under this tree. During the day, of course, it was an elderly man who was complained about his lazy son, and at night, a lonely lazy. little guy who didn't know what the crap. Uh, and then at night, a lazy son would pop up. I don't know if that was related or not. Yeah. Probably should find him. He happens to be, for some reason, in the Lost Woods. It's weird, but... Uh, this'll do it.
A nice guy doesn't call anybody an old hag, even if they are an old hag. But that's her title, old hag of potion shop. Oh. And now we get a mushroom. It's an odd mushroom. It is a little odd looking. But it comes with a time limit! Oh no! <laughs> Thankfully we can do this pretty easily by just getting on here. I like how the guide says you can go through the shortcut for Guan City and get through Kakarika Village that way. But I've got assuming. places to go. But yeah, but this one's a lot easier time wise. And you come out and get on the opponent and book. Like, book it hard. Book it real good. Ah! Oh, what is with you and the whip? <laughs> Dancer won't get whipped. Stop whipping people. And we're probably going to want to keep your opponent handy. Because you never know when you're going to be under another time limit. You never know. Because time limits are fun and no way even stressing. Unless it takes you three days to do something, then it's not too bad. Yeah, then it's a, it's a different kind of stress at that point. Stop moving your opponent. Especially when you can control time and make it slow down so it's not as bad. Yeah, it's a different kind of stress at that point. It's not like an immediate high-energy stress. It's just kind of a slow, lingering stress. That slowly builds up inside of you until you can't take it anymore, and then your boss is the last person to see it coming. Apparently, which, which is weird because you're my boss, so take that as you will. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you sack of garbage! Can't you jump over there? I mean, she's closed. I can't get. You can't get over there until morning. I can't get over there without a chicken. Oh, can't you get over to the? Um... Oh my goodness! I picked a bad time to start this quest. No, go up to where the windmill is and jump over, can't you? No. Not without a chicken. Are you sure? Unless, like, you can miraculously jump farther as an adult. Which, like, I don't know, maybe you can. I think link. you can. Oh, jeez, I made it! How does that feel? Mr. Smarty Pants. Oh, yeah, you actually had to go in here. Yeah. Is your name Syrup or Maple? You have to hit the button. <laughs> Why can't I just talk to people? I don't have much time left. No. <laughs> no I'm keeping I'm it. I'm gonna let it rot. I forgot you had to go in the back to talk to her. Yeah, I you, you had to go to... in the back. This is the only way for the potion shop. What do you mean a monster? Hmm. What is this all about anyway? There's no backstory to this! Well, at least we don't have a time By the way, before we walk out of here, do not teleport with that. It'll instantly rot. This game knows you better than you think you do. Yeah, and I this one I don't know about, but no, I know... No, that one does. This one they, does? And if it's a time thing and you try to teleport, it instantly rots. Yeah, I know the timed ones do. But, but I, su I assumed this one, since it didn't have a timer, would no, be okay. No, th this one's fine. It's just the mushroom and something else later on this line. Yeah, if anything at all that has a time limit, don't... Don't wait around. Hey, dude, I got your m medicine! Why was he in here? And why is there Kokiri uh, here? Yeah, why are you here now? But then, how come we went through this whole thing perfectly um, fine? Now, I recall very specifically that they changed this going to the, the, her dialogue here, going into the 3DS version. Because I know for sure she said, um, at the very least, they all become Stalfoss, that's why he's not here anymore, only his saw is left. Or, like, they all become Stalfoss, and then she said, everybody, Stalfoss. Or maybe that was a different person. I'm thinking of somebody else. Who knows? This Either way, up. he's dead to the world now. No, that's not a joke. He's actually dead to the world. He's a... This he's is Stalfos. So, yeah. 
the kind medicine. of a depressing yeah. start to this whole thing. Yeah, the medicine doesn't work on monsters. Though, admittedly, he's become a monster. He's not dead. He's just a monster. Well, Stalfos are the skeletons, so... Yeah, but eh, he's a monster. I mean, granted, we'll probably kill him ourselves later on, but... That is the disturbing thought, isn't it? Yeah. That at some point we end up killing him. Well, I got a poacher saw now. And now, if you recall, that kid was the son of the carpenter that was working on rebuilding Kakariko Village. This is one of the most guy dang it moments in this entire game, because you do not necessarily know that connection. Yeah. So you, you have to find who to give this saw to. Which means we have to go find somebody that knows him, like his father. The, the, the carpenter, the one that's probably missing a saw of some sort. And you probably haven't seen him at this point, because he's in a place you likely haven't been to. Gerudo Valley. You don't really come here often it. because you don't really need to. No, stop. Go forward. Like, especially not until the plot drives you here. There's no reason for you to come here. And... The bridge is broken. Yep. That's, uh... It's a broken bridge. That's a broken bridge, all right. There are actually two ways to get over here. One is with an upgrade that we do not yet have. Sadly. The other one is... With well, the opponent. We're riding her right now, so... Gotta go back and build up speed and then get a nice little... I think you get a cutscene for this. Gotta go fast. Yeah! We are a, a horse rider. And a Heck darn yeah. Good one. And that is our carpenter. And if you go inside, there's uh, all the dudes are in here. No, they're not. Oh, they're not? Where are they? They're somewhere oh, else. Oh, right, I know where they are. This guy's in here, though. You forgot my mail, you son of a bitch. Where's your damn hood? Your bunny hood. You son of a bitch. Somebody fix that bridge. Uh, I think some carpenters are needed. Dang! We should do something about that. First, let's talk to you. Well, crap. <laughs> I'm Rip. bored being a carpenter. Let's go be thieves instead. Uh, hey guy, I found this. It's like they're all a bunch of lazy bums, and they probably thought like, Hey, if we're lazy bums, that means if we just take everything we want, we'll have to work for free. Only they found out that, hey, taking what you want and getting away with it is a lot harder than actually working. Also, something else we'll get into when we Yeah, get also them. other things we'll get to later. Yeah. Sure thing, here you go. And now we got a broken Goron sword. Very similar to the one Yay. we already have. And now we gotta go find Big Goron. They, mar they marked it on the map. I don't remember them marking it in the... That was probably something they did to make it easier to find out where you needed to go. Mm. Well, we have this. Um... One thing, I always liked the saw. Because it did not look like anything we knew originally. Or at least we're, we're used to over here. So I just always like the design. I think that's like the Japanese design for us all. Mm. So it was just always fun to have it like, look more like that. Just a neat looking little saw. And we gotta get back to Big Goron. Who we've met a Big Goron, but not the Big Goron. That's why I called him Mid Goron. Yep. Because, again, like I said last time, it's like I've played this game 50,000 trillion times, so. Can I get back up easily? Mm. Oh, no, this is the friggin' fairy. Oh, if this weren't here. Oh, you can smash it. Take that! And smash that! It. And then, ha! Huh. And then fall into the lava. Ah, crap! Quick, play a song! I won't take damage while I'm playing, right? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Brilliant playing. Okay, yeah, but we can just do this and get out of here real easy. And then we're at the top. Funny, too, I didn't even mean to do that, but it sounded like I was doing the Borla little fire. I was like, uh, 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 uh. 
Hmm. That? That's uh. It's like a breathing peak of mountain. Yeah, that's that's something. <gasps> it's a big Goron. Oh, I get it now. That is a really big Goron. And he doesn't seem happy. Medi Goron. Oh, Medi Goron. Whatever. Oh, maybe you can make one that doesn't break. I'm better at making blades. Well, let's show it to him, see what he says. Uh, what about this one? This one broke. I like how he's so big he calls it a knife. Yesterday's eruption. Oh, the one we caused? Sorry about that. Maybe you shouldn't have been near Death Mountain while we were saving shit. So we've got to go ke see King Zora. Which is why we haven't done this until now, because we'd be stuck at this moment. Yeah, people did say that you could do this quest earlier, and you could do it by going into the ice dungeon, the ice cavern early, but I, we're not gonna... We're like just gonna go in there early. But hey, we got a thing! I mean, I'll do some things early, but that's that's out there. Too bad K4 Game War is not here to fly me places. But yeah, we gotta go, uh, we gotta go to Zora's... Zora's place of places to go. Domain. Hey, King! Why does the King get the prescription? I don't know. Well, there's no no other Zoras to talk to. <laughs> it's just so weird. I think this is always the weird one for me. But like, we need something from Zora's domain, and this is the only guy that can, uh... Super fresh. Of and course I can make it. Yep. It's gonna be a bitch, but I can make it. And this is going to be another timed race. Yes. While Once it's cold. And we got three minutes, let's go! Once again, do not teleport. You wi it will yeah. spoil automatically once you get there. You could get to Lake Hylia super easy if you wanted to teleport, but you can't. Resist the urge. We're going to be going there as directly as possible because honestly, there is no shortcut otherwise to get to Lake Hylia. Come on, Link, man up. I just broke my ankle. I think I need a few minutes. You've got zero. We literally have no time for you to <laughs> tend to your wounds. So you're too tall now for the uh, current to actually take you anywhere. The Octoroks will jump up, but as long as you're like running towards them and rolling at them, they don't care. It was weird that that did happen. Especially considering Octoroks in other games were pretty straightforward and just running into the they wanted to. You can't roll here or you'll pick up one of the bushes and waste time. Valuable, valuable time. All like one second of it. And we've got Epona out here ready. Let's hit it! Now, and the we're gone! Where the hell is Lake Hylia? It's near Hyrule yeah, Castle, right? Something like that. Um, minor spoil... I shouldn't say spoilers at this point, but behind the scenes information. I actually really wanted to show off a glitch at this point. Um, specifically the super slide, for those of you who don't know. But honestly, I've never actually practiced it before. So I got here and tried to practice it and tried to learn it, and I couldn't get it down in the short amount of time that we had. I felt like I was getting close, but I couldn't get the timing down right. Well, that's exactly the problem I had. It's like yeah. a, it's a very small window. Of, like, it's just a couple of frames that you have to actually press it. I don't think and it's just hard to get that down to muscle memory. Yeah. And all things considered, you don't exactly want to waste time with something you don't know how to do precisely. Yeah, we're on a time limit here. I don't want to get all, I don't want to get out here and then like waste thirty bombs. And look at that, we got here with under a minute. Yeah, and we've got here in... almost a minute to spare. Yeah. Hey, dude. We haven't talked to you in forever. Shut yes, up! I targeted him. Target him. Use it. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> It's been five days. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. 
<laughs> you should have said so in the first place. I already ate it. Ugh. Well, crap. You're young, you can do it. Well, we do have a horse. The world's <laughs> finest, finest eye drops. And four minutes this time. Now, typically when I play through... Crap, the horse. It's right there. Typically when I play through at this point, I just go there as directly as possible. I go to Kakariko Village, I run up Death Mountain, all the way to the top, direct as possible. There is a different way to get there that I'm going to be attempting, and we'll see how that works out for me. Probably not well. Nah, I'm kidding, you'll do it. Every Dark Knight gets their great sword in the end. Oddly enough, I'm actually not fond of Dark Knights. But I don't know, I'm also like... I don't play defensively at all. So I want I want to do as much damage as possible. That's why I said Dark Knight. Like guts. Ah uh, crap, I forgot the friggin' gap's not on the fence. On the road like it's supposed to be. That's Who once. made that fence? Jackass. I keep telling you this and you keep ignoring me. Okay, so I'm heading into Kokiri Village, and we'll see how this treats me. I'm not going to worry about turning opponent around because this should be the last timed event. Hopefully. Assuming I don't mess up. <laughs> One can only assume so much. What if you use the eye drops and it just counted as <laughs> running the timer down? It's like, man, my eyes have been dry. Dang it. <laughs> So now, I admittedly don't know how much time this saves. Probably not much. Like, it's probably all about the same time. I guess okay, so you go right. You. Then up, and you head to Goron's place. And since this is teleporting, it immediately dies out. Dang it. Okay, I am going to gear myself up with some red tunic. Because you're going to go into a volcano. I would have just kept the red tunic on. I keep changing back. God dang it, I don't care. That wasted 10 seconds. 10 seconds you didn't need. I would have just kept the red tunic on, but I keep forgetting that I'm going to need it again when I change back to the blue tunic. Oh, and it expires. D dang it. Who'd have thought bringing Okay, water. rock's still gone. Who'd have thought bringing water into a volcano would be bad? Really? I guess this is a little bit faster. We got here with about two minutes to spare. Yeah, usually, Like, I'm effectively there. I do, usually, like, under a minute or so, so maybe this is a faster one. Yeah. It's weird, because the gu the pictures and all the guides have them at, like, like, the frog is, like, 19 seconds, and this one's, like, 18 seconds. Like, how are you guys that slow? And like, I got here with a minute 50. What the crap? <laughs> they're stopping to take screenshots for their guide is what they're doing. Hey, guy, I got you a thing. These will probably help. I'm so relieved. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I always loved the sound effect of the eye, of him using the eye drops. The, oh. No, you can hear like the echo. No. Oh. As it's like panning out. We got a claim check, which is a rock, the shape of a sword carved in it. Very oh, Goron-like. I thought it was actually like a piece of paper. Yeah, very Goron-like. Well, now we gotta wait three days for him to get ready for get our sword back. Yeah. So. Fudge that noise. Yeah. Well, we are currently the hero of time, and time is our bitch. So three days is six times playing the sword of uh, the song of storm of uh, sun song. I like how this guy's just gonna be back there standing there, but he's like. Just like working insanely fast. It's like, it's like, what are you like? It's kind of like if you took the made in heaven effect, but just made it to where everyone worked naturally, but they looked like they were going so fast to you. <laughs> I know it doesn't make any sense, but it does to me. It really does play uh, pay to be the hero of time in a place. Look at that sun time. go. Must be hilarious looking at it from like an inter like us like looking at. Wait, it if I keep it panned this way, we should see it fall. Maybe. Yeah. 
It must... It has to be hilarious to watch this from uh, outer space. Because <laughs> that planet the whole has planet to be going just... like... Like 180. Like... <laughs> I feel like we're changing time for us locally. Oh man, that moon fell down fast. That's usually a bad yeah. sign. I feel like we're games. changing time for us locally. So like everything else moves perfectly fine. Mm. You wouldn't be able to see it from outer space or anything. It's just that, like, we would skip forward. Mm. I wonder what everybody sees when they look at us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay, just I'm, I'm pretty... of, it's just a blot of whatever tunic color you're wearing. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's been three days, but I'm going to go one more end at daytime just to make sure. Because I'm pretty sure we started at night. I guess technically it would be like what the Flash does. He disappears when he goes too fast. Da -da -da -da. And now we got Naka's sword for the rest of this game. The big Goron sword. Yeah. It'll never break. And it took the spot of the broken sword up here. So you're going to be able to tell us apart now. Because he's going to be wearing green and using the master sword. I'm going to be wearing not green and hitting things with a very, very big sword. So like I said, Paladin, Dark Knight. Paladin, Dark Knight. Uh... I did it. It was a bad idea. But I did it. 